You can take an entire course including topics in this video through our website and get a certificate of completion from RASAF, the online educational radio frequency institute located in Irvine, California. Instructions and coupon for taking this course is provided at the end of this video. A transceiver is a device that contains transmitter and receiver which are both combined and share common circuitry. Transceivers combine a significant amount of transmitter and receiver handling circuits. So, so actually transceiver is nothing but a combination of transmitter and receiver. But here we don't have two antennas. So actually uh, inside transceiver, the both blocks, the uh, transmitter and receiver are sharing the same antenna and some other also circuits. They are not only, so uh, it's not only the antenna. So in general, we say that in radio communications, a transceiver is a two-way radio that combines a radio transmitter and a radio receiver exchanging information in half duplex or full duplex mode. So first we are going to talk about the half duplex. What do, uh, what does it mean? So uh, this picture shows the very simplified structure of the uh, transceiver. As you see, we have one common antenna here. We have our transmitter and receiver, and here we have the plexer. This, this time it's a switch. So basically it's very simple. When we want to receive data, uh, this switch uh, will connect this path. So we receive data and it goes to our receiver. And uh, when we want to transmit data from the transmitter, so this time we have to connect this part using the switch. So uh, as you see, uh, the information, the uh, waves are going from TX to antenna. So this is how the uh, transceiver works. So you can assume that this is a switch and uh, it, it connects a receiver or transmitter. This is half duplex and we can define it like this. We, we can only send or only receive data at the same time. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't mean that we can send and receive simultaneously. A very uh, simple and good example, walkie-talkie. Uh, if, you, if you know walkie-talkie, when you talk with that, you have to press a button. So this part button is a kind of switch. So when you talk, you press the button and you talk, then you release the button, you listen. So it means that you are changing the uh, receiver and the uh, transmitter. So it's a kind of half duplex. So we can explain the difference between half and full duplex here. Uh, in half duplex, as you see, we have a receiver or transmitter, and this is transceiver actually. Uh, we say they take turns. It means that once, a once the, let's say this is A and this is B. So for this, we can say that first the transceiver A is sending data and B is receiving. But second time, the transceiver B is sending data and the transceiver A is uh, receiving the waves. So they take turns. But in full duplex, we say this uh, thing is happening uh, simultaneously. Uh, they are sending a receiver at the same time. So uh, this, this one is, of course, uh, better than the half duplex. And for example, this is an example of a, a transceiver. But as you see, there is a switch here. So this is a half duplex. It means that um, uh, using the switch, we can decide which part uh, is working in our transceiver, uh, receiver or transmitter part. So as you see, this part, I'm going to show here, as you see, this part is the, the receiver part. This is RX, and the bottom one is a transmitter. So when we say that uh, they are sharing some circuitry, you can see, for example, they are sharing these two local oscillators, LO1 and LO2, and also they are sharing an antenna. And uh, if you see this part we showed with the uh, gray color, it's a front end. And actually we can also assume that if this mixer is also part of a front end, it depends. Here in this picture, uh, the front end is only shown uh, for this part, uh, just uh, including LNA, uh, antenna tuning, the switch, the plexer. So it doesn't include the uh, filters and the mixer here, but generally front end it starts from here and ends uh, at this mixer. So the front end should be this part for this uh, transceiver. And what about the full duplexer? You can imagine this duplexer as a kind of filter. For example, when we are receiving data, the data is coming here and passing through this filter and going to our receiver. So uh, there, there are two paths here. This is one. And the second one, this data can go up here. 
but um, we designed this duplexer in a way that it kind of blocks data from uh, the antenna to transmitter. So when data comes, it's not allowed to enter the transmitter, but because uh, we can design uh, in a, uh, such a way that the gain from here, from this port, you can imagine this port is a, uh, this uh, block, the duplexer, as a three port device. So we can say the gain from here to here is um, very low, it's attenuator basically, but we have, a, we kind of pass this signal when it's coming from the port one to port, for example, two. And vice versa, when we want to transmit signal, so we want to have a signal from three to one this time, we, we pass the signal, but when, uh, when there is a, a signal which is reflected back from the receiver to antenna, in this part, it will be attenuated. So, so when the signal is uh, traveling from port two to one, there is attenuation and it won't go to our antenna. So this is a full duplexer. We don't need switch here. It's kind of a filter and uh, and pr uh, it provides a transceiver to uh, transmit and receive signals at the same time. We are going to show some examples. Uh, the GPS system. Uh, in the GPS system, we only have transmitter and receiver. For example, when you have a GPS device, this GPS device is only uh, receiving data from the uh, satellite. So here in this application, we can assume that uh, we don't have transceiver, we just have a receiver and transmitter. The transmitter is a satellite and the receiver is GPS. But for, uh, the, transmit, the transceiver example is very obvious. It can be a mobile phone. Because we, as you see, we are, we are talking and we are hearing at the same time. So we are sending data and receiving data from other device, or other phone. It can be other things like uh, Bluetooth to um, Wi-Fi to because we are uploading and we are downloading. So we are sending and receiving data. So the mobile phone, a cell phone is a good example of a, a transceiver and it's a full duplex. Hey guys, thank you for watching the entire video. I'm going to provide you with a coupon for taking our fundamental basic concepts and components, RA RF101. So you can uh, get this course from our website. If you go to the page, you just have to select the buy this course and register here. As you see, if you're not registered up to now. So you need your username, email, password, and also you have to answer a security question. And then you can uh, press the uh, register button, uh, press the sign up button and uh, you will be able to uh, register in our website and after that all you need to uh, do is going to the, the course landing page and uh, go to check out and as you see click to enter your code you can put the the coupon code here and then apply the coupon so then you will have this course for free and you can uh, take this course as you see you won't pay anything for this course Rasoft has one of the most complete online certificate in radio frequency available which covers practical topics needed to be a knowledgeable RF engineer. Since all courses are consulted closely by design engineers and pioneers whom have worked as RF engineers in top RF companies such as Qualcomm, Broadcom, Skyworks, Intel and Apple as well as avionic companies. It covers the necessary information to land a job or successful in your career. Your first step to take the prerequisite course, RAH RF101, which we have provided the free coupon for it, RFPREREQ101. See you there shortly.